Good afternoon, dealers, and welcome to today's webinar. My name is Haley Holland, and I am the Marketing Programs Manager here at Auction123. I am so excited to co-host today's session with Tracy Amato, our Executive Director here at Auction123. Tracy will be discussing the new enhancement to Auction123 Craigslist integration. She'll also go over some great tips and best practices to get the most out of your Craigslist marketing initiative. So, Tracy, go ahead and introduce yourself. Thanks, Haley. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. I know that we're living in a very unusual climate right now, and I appreciate you taking the time to join our webinar. As we've seen in the last few months, online marketing is more important now than ever. Statistics are showing that online shopping has been greatly increasing, not just for everyday goods and services, but our dealers have been telling us they're now seeing huge increases in leads and sales as the country is opening up more each day. And we've especially seen a big up recently and shoppers that are looking for recreational vehicles, power sports, marine, outdoor equipment, all in addition to the many, many auto dealers who are reporting great success coming from their Craigslist and Facebook marketplace initiatives. So dealers need to be found where their buyers are doing the majority of their shopping and that's online. So I'm really excited to have this opportunity to dive deep into Craigslist. Um, we're going to offer lots of information on the best ways to market your dealership and your inventory on what is still a top site for driving traffic and leads to dealerships. And then for those on the call who are currently using Auction 123 for our Craigslist integration, or for those of you who are just interested in learning more about our solutions, I'm going to be introducing our new full-service Craigslist integration that's giving dealers a truly hands-free and effortless way to get inventory going live how you want, when you want. Great, Tracy. I know I'm eager to hear what you have um, to share with us today. But before we dive in, I just want to point out the control panel that you should be able to see there on the right side of your screen. You can minimize or expand this at any time by clicking on the orange arrow button in the corner. We have set aside some time at the end of the presentation to, to answer any questions. So please feel free to use the question section in your control panel to submit um, your questions throughout the presentation. I also wanted to let you know that we are recording this, so following the webinar, you can review this informative presentation with your team. All right, Tracy, take it away. Thanks. So to start off, I always like to go over how important it is to have a very strong online presence. Sometimes we focus maybe a bit too much on just the general Google search results, and we forget that shoppers research and browse inventory in a wide variety of ways. So we all know initial research is usually done through a quick Google search, but once a buyer is further down their shopping process, they begin to branch out and look for inventory via many different shopping channels. For example, they might be researching via the manufacturer site, and then they start visiting their preferred shopping sites to see what may be available to them locally or even nationally if they're looking for a more specialized unit. And the average shopper is visiting over 10 sites before even making a purchasing decision. So that means you and your competition have a number of opportunities to get your inventory in front of a shopper. And that's why it's so important just to branch out and get your inventory on as many sites as possible so you're in it to win it. Absolutely. Tracy, what would you say is the main reason for why dealers should be posting their inventory on Craigslist? The main goal of every dealership is to attract more local shoppers and to target shoppers in specific regions. So Craigslist has consistently been one of the best sites to reach those local buyers. The vast majority of your leads are going to be phone calls or even direct walk-ins to the dealership. And then because the callers are typically people in your backyard, it's really easy to encourage them to visit the dealership and continue their shopping process in person. And for a long time now, Craigslist has been pretty stagnant as a website. They really haven't changed much about the site's appearance, although they've added some newer functionality. Um, but they recently did launch a mobile application to their site, and I predict that they're going to be investing probably more in their product as a whole going forward. Very cool. With Facebook Marketplace becoming such a successful local shopping site, where does that leave Craigslist? Is Craigslist still a successful marketplace for dealers to invest in? Yeah, so through the years, we've seen Craigslist taking the rank, really, as the very best site to reach local shoppers in most markets in the U.S. 
we have a lot of dealers who are pulling a big percentage of their online leads from their Craigslist initiatives. Craigslist is ranked 14 in the U.S. of the most popular sites, so that means they're receiving a huge amount of traffic, and that traffic equates to droves and droves of shoppers who are searching the site at any time. And it's why Craigslist continues to be such a huge source of sales for dealers. Now, granted, Facebook is ranked number three in the U.S. and in the world for that matter, but Facebook is known first and foremost as a social media site. So while millions of Americans are using Facebook Marketplace every day, that's still only a fraction of the traffic that Facebook is receiving. The main difference is, of course, that Marketplace right now is free, and Crisis does charge per posting for nearly all the for sale by dealer categories. We have a lot of dealers who report to us Craigslist has a far better ROI than the more traditional classified sites that they use to market their inventory. And Craigslist has always been a great site to get those shoppers who are actually near the end of that shopping process. Basically, if they're coming to you from Craigslist, chances are they're ready to buy very soon. We see a lot of dealers who are spending you know, a few thousand dollars a month in Craigslist fees, and they're launching anywhere from 50, 75, 100 inventory items to 10 plus sites, uh, and they're doing it because it works. Sure. And you know, Tracy, I have been so thrilled to learn more about the new full-service Craigslist solution RT has recently launched. Um, could you give us a breakdown of the new features and how it differs from the existing Action 123 Craigslist solutions? Absolutely. So. With our current Craigslist integration, the dealer would first need to have a Craigslist account. And once they have that, they can install our Auction 1 to 3 Craigslist application on a PC or multiple PCs at the dealership. That installed application is what ensures our Craigslist integration works. So it's really important it's installed on a PC that will be on and logged into or locked at all times, or especially during any of your scheduled posting and revising times. Inside of the application, we have an area for you to enter your credit card information. And that's the card that's going to be charged with Craigslist fees as each posting goes live. Craigslist also sometimes sends posting verification emails. And in order for the postings to go live, you would need to complete the posting process via that email received. And that would include entering your credit card information again to complete the post. Now, if you stay on top of those verifications, because we see them come in uh, when, a, when a dealer first gets started, uh, when you stay on top of them, they'll usually dissipate within a day or two. Uh, but you do need to keep in mind that you're going to check that email address associated to your Craigslist account to see if you're getting any posting verifications in the future, or also to receive any email leads that are coming in off your Craigslist ads. And again, because the application is what communicates with Craigslist, it would need to be running during any of your scheduled posting revisions or ending of sold ads. Now, conversely, with our new full service offering, you would no longer need to install an application or use your own credit card to pay for Craigslist fees. You wouldn't even need to have your own Craigslist account. You would just simply subscribe to a set number of monthly Craigslist posting credits with Auction 23, and we're going to take care of the listing process for you. Our system's also going to take care of any of those revisions that come up when changes are made to images or pricing, description, or any other changes to the vehicle data. And of course, if you want us to end your sold listings, we can do that as well. And then with our full service process, all leads received from your Craigslist ads would be able to be relayed to your CRM. So our dealers that are on the new full service option, they just let our system handle every aspect of the listing process, including obviously their Craigslist fees, and then they can just focus their time on answering their leads. It really makes the entire process completely hands-free. Postings are going to go live when you want, how you want, without the need for any work on your end. Awesome. And I know we've had a lot of requests from dealers to make our automated process even more hands-free. And the full service solution offers the next level of automation. So Tracy, walk me through the posting credit subscription. How does that work? It's really easy. When signing up, the dealer will just let our team know how many posting credits they want each month. And then during the setup of our automated listing and management processes, we would set the system to do maybe end of month export processes just to help ensure that if you had any remaining posting credits, that they're going to be used up that month on the type of postings you want, which are going to drive more business to your dealership. And then we also have some really good checks 
and balances included to ensure you're never posting beyond your set monthly budget. So even if you choose to manually post ads, we want to be sure you're sticking to the right budget for your dealership and make sure that you're taking full advantage of your subscription. Great. And there are some dealers joining us today who might not be familiar with Auction 123 Craigslist Campaigns feature. I know I was a little foggy about it too. Um, can you go over how the Craigslist Campaign tool works? Of course, we've always had automation tools available to make the listing process as hands-free as possible, but with our old method, you could only set up one instance of automation. So you would tell us what days, times, and locations you wanted to post to, and then be able to decide what inventory went live via a set series of filters and posting priorities. And while that automation really streamlined the process, it wasn't offering enough flexibility. So we created campaigns, and now you can easily create and build campaigns that allow you to choose your budget, posting location, ad content, posting days and times on a campaign by campaign basis. So for example, we have dealer who carries multiple manufacturers and they choose to have different messaging in the ads specific to each manufacturer. And they can also set different monthly budgets per manufacturer. Or we have dealers who post inventory in different areas based on season or others who use the campaigns to set different posting budgets for new units versus used units, and the campaigns are all set it and forget it. That's the best part. You can let our system do all the work for your dealership, eliminating the need to have someone taking the time and effort to choose the units, update ad messaging, and launching the ads. The new campaign tool allows you to customize all aspects of how you post a Craigslist, and then it just runs automatically either through the Auction 123 Craigslist posting application or via our new full service process. And again, the account level limits come in handy here because uh, you know you want to make sure that you don't have campaigns set that are going to post beyond the budget of your dealership wants to spend each month on Craigslist. Absolutely. So you mentioned being able to send email leads to a dealer's CRM system via the full service Craigslist process. What other ways can a dealer track the leads they have coming in from Craigslist? Yeah, attribution, it's getting harder and harder with buyers visiting so many different sites on their journey. But it's so important to do your best to measure what each marketplace you're investing in is bringing to the dealership. So for some of our dealers, counting the leads per month is enough, where others want to measure the ratio of sales to leads to determine what the viability of a marketplace is for their dealership. So for our dealers who are sticklers with attribution, We've received reports that demonstrate Craigslist closing ratio ranking way better than some of the top classified listing sites. So it's really impressive. The best way to measure success beyond just having those email leads sent to your CRM is tracking the phone calls that come in off of Craigslist. We can provide you with a free call tracking number. It's going to help with that process. And you'd be able to view reporting on the total number of calls received. You can even listen to the calls. You can record seller notes. You can set call priorities as well. And some dealers choose to have us enable campaign-specific call tracking numbers so that they can really measure what each campaign they set up is doing for them. That way, as you make tweaks to the campaign posting content or maybe your budget or any other changes, you can easily measure the results from the changes via the call tracking. And then also Craigslist dealers report a high amount of walk-in traffic. So as always, it's really important to have a process in place to ask those walk-in shoppers, you know, where did you find us um, on a specific marketing site, just so that you can discover what ultimately brought them to your dealership. Thanks, Tracy. So let's talk about the basics of Craigslist before we move into some uh, best practices. Tracy, can you walk us through the anatomy of a Craigslist post and let us know of any changes that have been happening over at Craigslist? Sure. Craigslist allows up to 20 images per post. So in the event you have more than that, the auction one to three system is just going to send the first 24 for each item. <clears throat> they don't allow a lot of HTML, but we are able to make some very basic tags to enhance the text by doing things like increasing your font size or making your titles bold and other ways just to make your ad look pretty so it can draw the shopper's attention. 
Our tool also offers a posting layout editor, and that's going to allow you to control your presentation on Craigslist by choosing exactly what information you want included, and it even lets you create custom blocks of text to add to all of your listings by campaign. So if you're marketing things like your financing or, you know, just why buy from your dealership, any other information that you think is going to help sell your dealership to the shopper can be added. Your option to be postings will also include a tiny URL. Uh, it's got text that is encouraging the shopper to copy and paste it to view more information about that unit or all other items you have for sale. And that URL is going to go directly to the item in a vehicle details page that's powered by Auction123, which also links to and displays all of your other inventory you have within the Auction123 system. So it's a great way to drive traffic off of Craigslist and directly to all of your inventory for sale. And then for some website providers in the industry, we will bypass that Auction123 landing page for the item details page directly on your website. Awesome. I know that Craigslist has been charging dealers to post for a long while now. What changes have you seen happen to the site, and how has that affected dealers who list on Craigslist? When Craigslist started charging for postings in the U.S., really everything changed for the better. Now dealers can post as often as they want and repost that same vehicle as many times as they want in whatever locations they want on Craigslist as long as you're paying that $5 fee. So gone are the days of worrying about getting flagged or having your IP blocked or not being able to post as often and wherever you want. Awesome. That definitely makes a lot of sense. So we've heard in the past of various ways to search optimize Craigslist posting. Does Auction123 offer, offer a way to do that? There's not uh, any tricks to get to the top of Craigslist search anymore. With paid postings, the option to renew a listing really went away. Uh, for those listening who posted when Craigslist was free, you're going to remember that renewals offered sellers a way to push their ad back to the top of the category, and this could be done every 48 hours. So since then, Craigslist started offering many more search features, and shoppers on Craigslist don't just click a category and scroll through each ad. They actually search for what they want, just like they would on CycleTrader or AutoTrader or RVT. Uh, the best way to appear in search is to consistently post your inventory each month. And then there used to be ways to optimize your search results on Craigslist, which would make your postings appear ahead of the search results for similar items. And this was done by adding special characters to the title, location field, or body of the listing, and also repeating like the make, model, and trim throughout the ad. Craigslist has actually stopped allowing these practices to boost your search, and now there's really no way to have an advantage when it comes to search results over a similar posting beyond having really great photos and great ad content. When you're using just the Craigslist filters, uh, listings actually show in the order they were posted. For best search results, you need to be sure your ads include options and features of the unit. That way your postings will appear when a user is searching for that kind of information. And when using the Auction 1 3 Craigslist layout editor, it's always important to include the options and features section. That's going to help boost the valuable content in your ads. And of course, great inventory descriptions always help. Got it. Content, content, content. Um, anything else new on the horizon with Craigslist? Well, like I mentioned earlier, Craigslist actually launched a mobile application, which seems crazy to think that would be news in this day and age, but it's a pretty big deal for Craigslist. The number of users who visit Craigslist is staggering, and to think that until recently it was all without a mobile app or even a mobile-friendly site. It's just a testament to how popular the site is among its shoppers. Awesome. Well, that's incredible. I know we always have our ears to the ground hearing about the latest and newest sites that pop up day after day, and that it's sometimes easy to forget that most shoppers are creatures of habit who use what's comfortable to them. Craigslist just has so many visitors that it's impossible to ignore as a huge lead driver for dealers to have a solid uh, listing initiative. I, so I think this is a great time to trans transition over to some tips for success. We know a lot of dealers um, out there, especially our dealers, have experienced a huge amount of success posting to Craigslist. What are some best practices that can help a dealer who's just starting out? Being successful on Craigslist is actually pretty easy. You just need to keep a steady stream of inventory live on the site. 
sprinkling inventory on Craigslist every day and spreading your posting times out throughout the day means that your inventory is more likely to be found when a shopper is performing searches on the site. Okay. So what about those dealers who want to manually post? Would you recommend that? We strongly recommend dealers utilize the automation method. It's ensuring that no matter how busy you get the dealership or maybe what happens with personnel changes, your dealership's going to maintain your inventory live on the site and those calls and walk-ins keep coming. We have dealers who come on board, they have the best intentions and even sometimes great processes in place for manually posting and then eventually ads just stop going live because any kind of circumstance that happens at the store. Our automated posting solutions, they accommodate nearly every possible scenario, so there really is not a reason to take advantage of them. You're not going to get leads from Craigslist if you don't have those ads going live and going live consistently. Okay. Um, and then what are some best practices on the amount of inventory listed? Should a dealer just post all of their inventory to Craigslist? It really all depends on the dealer's Craigslist budget and, of course, their inventory volume. If you carry mostly used, I would always aim to list all of your used inventory and then even some new if you have new as well. Um, if you are dealing with mostly new, then focus on listing a very good mix of your new units. And when setting budget, I plan or advise our dealers to plan to repost the unit at least once a month. Unless you have a huge inventory with lots of duplicates, then it really makes more sense to just keep posting new ads instead of reposting existing ads. But posting an ad here or there or only investing in posting a small percentage of your inventory each month likely will not generate a lot of traction. It's really important on Craigslist to commit to a healthy budget. Okay. And in general, is there a guideline for what kind of inventory should be posted to Craigslist? There is a huge misconception that Craigslist is only for that really low-priced inventory. We work with dealerships who do a fantastic job of tracking the source of their leads and also the complete path from lead to sale. And in looking at the sales attributed to Craigslist, we're all kind of blown away by how many higher price or newer inventory sold to Craigslist leads. And we also saw a large number of sales from new units, some that were never even listed to Craigslist. So because your Craigslist leads are all local shoppers, once they're on your showroom floor, it's no longer about the unit that brought them to your dealership in the first place. And that's what makes Craigslist so great. It's just another awesome way to generate even more local leads. Great advice, Tracy. Um, so what about dealers who are located in an area with a lot of nearby cities? Should they pick one location to post? Now that Craigslist charges for postings, we've seen you can really post anywhere you want without having to worry about getting blocked or flagged for posting in more than one region or for even posting outside of your area completely. Uh, but just because you can doesn't always mean you should. It's really important to evaluate where you want to target. Of course, all of us want to get customers from all areas, right? But if I had a dealership in a region that is right in the middle of two or more Craigslist regions, I wouldn't necessarily want to split my budget between them all. I would first take a look at my sales set. Where are my shoppers coming from? And if I'm commanding my direct region right now via any other marketing channels, I would probably want to target that outlying region that I seem to get some rollover business from and then commit my full budget there. And in some cases, there are going to be more than one Craigslist location that you want to target. And if possible, I would recommend posting most, if not all, of the inventory in both locations. I definitely would not reduce posting volume in an effort to accommodate multiple locations. For example, we have a dealer in North Carolina. They're actually posting to three Craigslist locations, not all local. Um, and they're spending about 3000 a month on Craigslist. And they're splitting the budget between the three areas. They're averaging 250 to 300 calls a month off of Craigslist. They're getting about 400 to 500 shoppers going directly to their website from their Craigslist ads. So the traffic can be awesome if you're not skimping to accommodate multiple locations. That makes a lot of sense. Um, once the ad is posted, what if the price changes or the dealer sells it at the store? Our automation is going to take care of updating that ad. 
typically we will import a dealer's inventory from either their inventory manager or their website provider daily, usually multiple times a day. So if we recognize information has been updated, we go ahead and revise the ads during that next scheduled process. And each dealer's revised schedule is actually set within their own account. So we can trigger that revised process to kick off soon after we import their inventory file. With sold inventory, we do have a few options on how you want to handle that. Some dealers choose to keep the sold item live and just continue to receive any inbound calls or walk-ins. Um, each posting is only good for 30 days, so if you're paying for the posting, might as well take the lead from it. Also, many dealers uh, might want just the ad to be taken down. Uh, they don't want sold ads live at all. So in that case, we can actually just automate the process exactly as we would automate revising of your live items. And then we've recently added an option where a dealer can say to us, you know, add a message to any of my sold units. And, and that's done through our Craigslist ad content editor. And what we see messages like, this vehicle is currently pending sale. Please contact us at phone number to inquire about availability of this unit or similar units we have in stock. So it's just a great way to drive more calls to the dealership and then also potentially convert the shopper into another unit that you have for sale. Awesome. Well, Tracy, we've covered a lot uh, in this short presentation. Um, can you go over some top takeaways for those who joined us today before we open up the floor for questions? Absolutely. I think for starters, the main takeaway is Craigslist is still a high traffic site for shoppers and buyers. The amount of traffic that site's receiving is consistently keeping Craigslist in the top 20 of the most visited sites in the U.S. So it's ranking above sites like Netflix, office.com and or linkedin.com and that traffic obviously means lots of shoppers who are looking at ads posted to the site so we have many many dealers who report craigslist initiatives bring them more traffic than the more traditional classified listing sites for the industry and that craigslist buyers are later in their shopping process so those craigslist leads have a higher propensity of closing over other listing sites Auction Entity has always been ahead of the game when it comes to our Craigslist tools, uh, and we really try to help dealers streamline the listing and management process. We've now taken it just a step further for the dealers who want a totally hands-free solution to completely automate the entire process. And that's our new full-service Craigslist posting solution. It ensures dealers are getting a set number of postings live each month without needing to manage anything at the dealership, making Craigslist a more reliable source of leads throughout the month every month. And while we still offer the ability to manually list or schedule postings live on Craigslist, automating your Craigslist posting and ad management is so key to your success. Automation guarantees no matter what's happening at the dealership, your ads are continuing to go live and your leads are coming in without anyone needing to manually intervene. We've also enhanced our automation settings to account for virtually every possible scenario. So it's eliminating any need for your dealership to want to manually post. Our campaign tools can help you create endless possibilities to fully customize all aspects of where you post, when you post, what inventory gets posted, or even down to what the ads say on a campaign by campaign basis. You can set up unlimited campaigns and enable or disable them as you please. And lastly, knowing where your customers are coming from is getting more and more difficult because they're visiting so many different sites we're all getting bombarded with marketing and ads pretty much everywhere we go online. But doing your best to measure inbound leads really gives you a better understanding of what marketplaces are working for you. And we use call tracking numbers uh, for each of, of your marketing channels, especially Craigslist, so you can see just how many calls you're receiving each month from your listings. And develop rock-solid processes for finding out where your walk-in traffic last saw your inventory online. And as always, get it all into your CRM or whatever you're using to track your customers so that you can actually report upon your advertising and what's driving you the best ROI. Great. Thanks so much, Tracy. I know we've had a ton of dealers who are listening, listing on inventory um, on Craigslist, and they are having really great results um, and great success from it. Thank you for giving us a deeper look at what dealers can expect from the new full service integration and really how everything's working. Um, so that brings us to the end of the presentation. But before we jump into answering your questions, um, dealers, if you're wondering how you can get started and um, get up and running with Auction123's new full service Craigslist solution, 
um, please reach out to our team. Um, the phone number is 888-514-0123, or feel free to shoot us an email at sales at auction123.com. So we'll go ahead and get started. And if you have a question you'd like to ask, go ahead and type it into that question section um, on your control panel. And if you need to expand your control panel first, just go ahead and hit that orange arrow um, and you'll see the question section below. Okay, so right, Tracy, so, I see a question coming in for you. Yeah, so um, I let's uh, take this first question. Someone's asking, Regarding uh, how quickly do the revisions happen uh, when changes are made to the inventory? So we are importing your inventory from whoever has probably the most up-to-date inventory, um, and it's most likely your website provider, or it could be your inventory management provider if they're feeding to your website. But we want to get it at the closest to the source. So um, wherever you're adding your photos and descriptions, we'd like to get the inventory from them. That way we're getting the inventory as quickly as we can from the, the, the source that you're adding content to. Once we get that inventory in, and we'll usually import more than once a day, but some providers only send it to us once a day, some send it to us six times a day. Um, as we import your inventory, we recognize, oh, hey, pricing's changed, photos have changed, um, you know, information has changed on this specific unit. When we see those changes, that triggers our tool to say, hey, there's a live Craigslist ad for this unit, let's make sure we go ahead and update that. And so our system seeks out that Craigslist ad on our next revision process, uh, and it will update that content on your behalf without you having to do anything. Um, the revision processes are set within your account. So you can have your revised processes always kick off, um, you know, probably 30 minutes after we import your file, or they can also be set on a campaign by campaign basis if you want as well. So um, to, basically it's going to be very quick. Uh, once a change has happened, we'll make sure that the changes are updated on your live Craigslist listing. Uh, another question uh, we have somebody asking about flagging. Can't my competition just flag me and waste the money I paid for the ad? So to reiterate, if you are listing in a paid category on Craigslist, which is all U.S. by dealer categories are now paid, um, if you're Canadian, uh, the only paid category is cars and trucks by dealer in Vancouver. The rest of Canada is actually free. Um, when you're paying for a Craigslist posting or in any paid posting situation, the flag doesn't work the way it used to back in the free days. Um, in the free days, if you recall, you could post an ad and somebody could flag it immediately. Uh, your competition could flag it. There actually used to be companies that were in business that their prime source of business was flagging competitor ads on your behalf. Um, once the paid posting came out, that flag button doesn't really do anything. Um, it just alerts Craigslist if there might be something inappropriate in the ad, uh, but those are all reviewed. Uh, the only time, and it's very rare that I've ever heard of a paid ad getting flagged, is specifically um, uh, if uh, they, were, they were trying to advertise more than one unit in the, uh, in, in the listing, or if there was anything vulgar, um, you know, uh, if there was you know, language that Craigslist doesn't allow on the site in the ad. That's the only time I've ever seen flagging happen, so it's very, very rare. Basically, put it in, in your head that if you pay that $5 Craigslist fee, your ad will be good for 30 days. That's really it, unless you're trying to do something that Craigslist doesn't, you know, allow for, which is advertising more than one unit within a posting or um, any vulgarity. Uh, I have somebody who's asking specifically about uh, Craigslist fees. Uh, so again, Craigslist charges per ad. Um, it is five dollars per ad for nearly all for sale by dealer categories in the U.S. Um, it, with the exception of Farm and Garden, which is three dollars per ad. Uh, so if you're using our standard Craigslist application, you're just entering your credit card into the app, and as each posting goes live, your credit card's getting hit for the five dollars. If you're doing our full service process where you don't need to run an app, you don't need a Craigslist account, you don't need to um, look for email verifications, and we can send all the leads to your CRM, in that 
process, uh, you're paying six dollars per, per Craigslist posting credit, and you'd be subscribing to a set number. Like you would say, okay, I'll twenty three every month. To make sure that I have a hundred ads posted to Craigslist, and then we can set up your campaigns. You know, where, how do you want those distributed? What kind of ad content is going live? What locations are we posting to, etc. And then you just sit back and, and we handle everything. So um, it's five dollars if you're paying Craigslist directly. If you're doing our full service program where we're managing everything on your behalf, it's six dollars per ad. Somebody's asking about Facebook Marketplace. Yes, we do integrate with Facebook Marketplace um, in addition to Craigslist. Uh, we were actually asked by Facebook to be uh, one of the first providers to um, launch Marketplace for dealerships. Uh, so it was us and five others that uh, were the beginning companies to get Facebook um, Marketplace for Dealership started. And uh, Facebook Marketplace is another site that we integrate with. Um, we do cra uh, Craigslist, obviously, and eBay Motors. We have uh, a very tight integration with eBay, and we're partners with them um, as a preferred service provider. So uh, those are some other listing sites that someone is asking what we do. And then I'm going to take uh, a last question. Somebody's asking, how do we keep track of the dealer's inventory, do you have to manually put your inventory um, into our system? No. So that is, again, fully automated. Uh, when you sign up, up with Auction123, if you have a website provider, if you have an inventory management provider, really if you have any system or means to send us a file daily of your inventory, and normally your website provider or your inventory management provider would handle that for you, uh, we would just automatically import your data. You do not need to manually input anything into our system. Um, if you don't have a website provider or an inventory management provider, you can certainly use our own inventory management tools to build and maintain your inventory, but chances are you probably have your inventory in another tool or system, and we could just get it automatically, and you don't have to worry about anything. Um, we would know when something's marked sold. We would know when some pricing's updated. We'll know any changes that happen with your inventory automatically. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, Tracy. Dealers, we are out of time. Um, but if you are interested in more information or perhaps maybe we, we didn't get to your question, um, feel free to contact us at 888-514-0123 or feel free to send us an email at sales at auction123.com. Um, folks, you will be receiving a follow-up email to this webinar that will allow you to um, ask us more questions, get some more information, and just share the video with your team. So thank you so much for attending today's webinar. We hope that it was informational um, and really helped you guys out. Thanks again, Tracy, for joining us today. Really appreciate being here. Thank you, Haley, and thanks to everybody who joined. Uh, we're looking forward to answering all of your additional questions and getting you guys listed on Craigslist. All right. Thanks so much and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.